Hi y'all, checking in from Boulder, Colorado. Um, founder, co-founder of International Tribe Design. It's been a while since we've released a video here, but because I am now residing in a tribe house with so many superhero allies, I not only want to kind of inform y'all of what's going on, because our last event that was scheduled in Austin, I believe that was the 14th one, actually got postponed uh, because of the current cultural chaos around the C word and the ranch owner being a high risk individual. So this was, we went on a solid run, 14 seasons straight of designing the strongest tribe as fast as possible at the best place in the world at the best time to be there. When this event in Austin in the spring got postponed, I, I didn't really know how things were gonna pan out, but funny enough, on one of the Breaking Normal Tribal Council calls we host on, on a weekly basis most of the time, a lovely lady named Anne Marie, who I'll be sure to introduce y'all to here soon, uh, connected with me, with my new housemate, uh, Matt, over there, Matt Chandler. He's like, uh, he's been, wow, there's so much to say. It's like we're brothers from another mother. He has two kids that are now two of Davina's best friends. Uh, we not only share space with each other, but with a group of other all-stars. And my intention is to kind of show y'all not only what it means to design a tribe as fast as possible, the best place in the world, the best time to be there for a three or four night experience, but what it looks like on a daily basis that daily bite, you know, that daily tribe vitamin. And um, one of the things that, why he's doing what he's doing right there is because he's actually executing one of his non-negotiables. We've uh, formulated sort of a tribal, non-negotiable smart goal accountability group. Uh, one of Matt's non-negotiables and mine is to do the breath work and the push-ups and the cold plunge, and along with many others, five days a week. And we have it set up where if we actually don't accomplish it, there's a financial penalty to the other person. So I wanted to start updating y'all. There's so much to say, but instead of trying to put it into one video, I figured this is a ripe opportunity to restart a video blog to see what it means to live in a tribe of like-hearted, not like-minded, but like-hearted individuals that are focused on heart sync instead of group think, and that holding each other accountable to not be like me, but to be the best version of what he can be. And I expect that accountability from him as well. I expect that from the cameraman. I expect that from y'all. I would love to see y'all's comments uh, below of what you're looking to maybe for us to edutain, edutain ourselves out loud in front of you on. And uh, in the meantime, we'll kind of show you what we're doing. We'll, we'll show you part of the workout. Like right now he's doing what many of y'all may know, Wim Hof type of breathing. We're gonna get ready to do 100 pulls, which I'm gonna aim for 100 pull-ups, 100 sit-ups, or 100 crunch exercises, 100 push-ups, I've already done 50, and then five minutes in that 50 degree living water right over there. And um, I would be curious, one of the reasons, one of the ways I've built these routines are by asking people such as yourself, if you could give a prescription or a daily ritual to the world that would upgrade humanity, what would it be? My answer is five minutes straight, and that 55 degree fresh water. And if you don't have fresh water nearby, get a freezer, get in the cold shower. But that five minutes of that exposure to the cold, because I think if we wanna prevent ourselves from getting cold, uh, getting a cold, then we get to become friends with the cold. So that's a major part of it. So I'm gonna heat myself up on this playground with pull-ups. And uh, yeah, we'll keep in the loop. I would love to know what your your 100 pulls five days a week might look like. And just to share a funny little, this is a cool thing, I'll make a video blog. Because <laughs> I have, a, I mean, obviously I have a breaking normal lifestyle, but we just, I've gotten several workout boosts in this area uh -huh. from a variety of ways, whether it's weather, people, kids, mm -hmm. animals. But this lady here keeps screaming. She keeps <laughs> circling around us like, a, like an out of control pit bull. She's and look at her eye, look at her eye. <laughs> if you can try <laughs> and she right, keeps, being bad. She's screaming at us about how daintly, like, how reckless it is that our pit bull is there without a leash. 
um, because it's the kids or something. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah we're, we're, and because we're intimidating kids. We're intimidating by doing pull-ups and working out close to the playground. And I was telling them that I've been I've been here probably like 55 out of the last 60 or so days. Yeah, and a lot of times working out. I get so many like compliments and affirmations and inspirational thank yous from parents and kids. Yeah. I've gotten complained only by old people that are here without kids. That's true. It's kind of an odd. Most of the parents are happy that we're setting good examples and showing their kids because usually after we're done, the kids are behind us doing pull-ups as well. Yeah. And trying them themselves. So. Yeah. I think I remember one good dad's like, my kid's going to start doing what you're doing. I'm like, yeah. And we bring the chaff, they like that. But anyways, and my I believe she's aiming to seduce me to engage in her energy so yep. that she can get mine. That's what my uh, that's my understanding. So instead what I'm doing, I've noticed my adrenaline's getting higher. I'm like, is this lady really screaming at me and my dog? <laughs> and, tell, and I'm like, okay, yeah, she is, she is, and I accept that. And I basically transmute that adrenaline into testosterone. And some pull ups. Yeah. yeah, like I use it as a workout steroid. And I think a lot of people could learn how to tap into that. And the people that are experts are in that, are, in my opinion, are fighters. Mm -hmm. Fighters, wrestlers, boxers, martial artists. And uh, I appreciate that Pitbull, that Lady Pitbull, yes. to, to help my martial arts get that much better. <laughs> exactly. And we want to make the movement to, it's good to be move, or movement and do things outside. Um, it's, to make it not as weird anymore to go to, you know, be in public and do exercises. Wherever you're at, I feel like movement's key. Um, just to keep your energy up and your body moving. So I'm all for it. Just keep them going. <laughs> yeah, it's like I just hold gym closing or wearing masks at the gym thing. I could look at it as like, oh, oh that's going to be detrimental to my fitness. I could look at it that way. And I'm at, a lot of people might be, but I'm, I'm definitely on your team. I'm yeah. like, man, I'm out here in the negative ions. It creeps right here. The sun coming in and out of here. Like I'm fresh air, sunlight is key, right. crucial, I would say, right now. Yep. Look forward to the workouts now. Well, yeah. I've been going to a gym inside. All right. Well, there's a little breaking normal breakout session. <laughs> All right, these are some power Pilates, or as my, my friend Isaiah Flessenbach, who came to our Tribe Design in Washington, who showed us this, he called it a gallbladder activation. Definitely a good break in between the pull-up set and uh, Matt, I think from the book, Tools of Titans from Tim Ferriss, was he mentioning some sort of workout like this for the- Yeah, it's on the outer book. It's a lot of the same stuff. Outer hip is allegedly a lot of where it's at. Thanks, Isaiah. Give us a quick shout out to Robert Styler, Ashland, Oregon, who took me to the Kunlun meditation class where we did all that crazy yumming and tumming and humming and thumbing for like 45 minutes straight. But I'll tell you, if you need my uh, fellow polar plungers, if you ever have a hard time Turning the cold into pleasure, try audio. Try long, audible ohms or tones or sounds. It's a, I think a lot of times, like have you ever seen a pregnant woman give birth in silence? No. And this is a way of giving birth to a new earth and seeing things in a new way. And it's transmuting, like finding that line and transmuting pain, what some might see as pain, into personal pleasure. I love the cold. I can be hot yes. in the cold. I feel like I'm getting warmer the more I talk. <laughs> the more I'm putting audio. I need help. So I definitely think polar plunging full immersion is a different game than only your body. Makes a big difference. And then one more practice, if you got the context of the environment, upstream swimming. And then look at this, a previous uh, tri design guest is showing up. We just, what do you know, we just relaunched the tri design YouTube channel. We're relaunching the Tribe Design YouTube channel, and here you're on. Jump in. You're a part. If you would like to introduce yourself, feel free to tell people where they can find you. Are you still doing the apps? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
I remember the first day he came over to get in. Yeah, me and this is David, two time, two time tribe designer. That's right. Santa Cruz and Montana. Uh, yeah, yeah. But anyways, before you get in, why don't you tell them what you're doing? What's that? Can you tell them what you're doing? Um, what am I doing? Yeah. What's your up to now? My name is David, and that I'm up to um, being a lost, confused person. But I like it that way. And I'm up to um, I wish I had something to say, but where can people find you in Boulder? What's that? Where can people find your act? Oh, you find I'm an entertainer. You can find my show on the corner of 13th and Pearl. But because of the fake pandemic going on, I'm sort of not there that much right now. Uh, but I will be soon, and it's so nice to see you all. So nice to see you. Interest you, doesn't it? You stay down, you pit bull.